Welcome to the Virtuous Woman of Today podcast. I'm your host, Diana Bryan. Here, we uncover what it takes to become the virtuous woman of Proverbs 31 in our generation. We discuss the tools and the puzzle pieces to get there. The virtuous woman is not a myth, and you can be her too. You were called and are destined to be the virtuous woman of today. Are you ready? Welcome, virtuous woman of today. I am so excited to be here with you today because it's the first official episode that we are launching for the virtuous woman of today. My name is Diana Bryant, for those of you who don't know me, and I am a Christian life coach, and the Lord called me years ago to motivate women, to encourage women, to transform their life with His Word one day and one step at a time. And I'm here to provide to you all the tools that you need to be able to transform your life with his word and become that virtuous woman of today. So this podcast, it's actually an inspiration from a book that I wrote a couple of years ago called The Virtuous Woman of Today. And a lot of you seem to really, really like that book. So I decided to do a podcast to continue giving you those tools and, and being your ear every morning, uh, motivating you and encouraging you to become that woman that the Lord has already declared that you are. So this podcast has the intention precisely of that, to give you those tools, to give you everything you need, the encouragement um, to continue pressing and continue achieving everything the Lord has called you to, to do, but most importantly, to become everything he has created you to be. So um, a lot of us start when we think about the virtuous woman, we think of this lady that we read about on Proverbs 31. And the number one thing that he says, and, and the first thing that we read is who can find this virtuous woman, right? She's worth more than rubies. And when we read this, who can find this virtuous woman? Truly, we start thinking of this virtuous woman as, as this power woman who nobody can reach, nobody can do. Uh, it's, it's just an impossible, it's a myth. But in reality, it's not a myth. That virtuous woman is you because the Lord has already declared it. He has already said that you are the virtuous woman of today. He has given you all the characteristics. He has given you all the steps, all the tools that you need to be that empowered woman, to be that successful uh, at whatever it is that you're at, whether it is you're a mother or if you're a wife or if you work at in a specific field or whatever it is that you do, you're a virtuous woman at whatever it is that you are, what happens is we don't believe that we are. So we think that it's just a myth. That is something that the Bible says, and this woman was blessed enough to have all those characteristics and be the virtuous woman. But the Lord is telling you today that you are the virtuous woman of today, and he wants to give you everything you need to believe it, to embrace it and to run with it. So in this podcast, you will be able to find all the puzzle pieces to put together that virtuous woman and really run with whatever the Lord is calling you to do. So uh, we're going to transform our life. We're going to transform our mind. Uh, We're going to transform our habits, our actions, all of this with the word of God through this podcast. But the in line, the the goal we are achieving here is to be and become that virtuous woman of today. So um, I encourage you to just receive it, to believe it, that you are the virtuous woman. I encourage you to to truly treasure in your heart the words the Lord is telling you this morning, that you have everything that he is providing to you to be able to become this virtuous woman and to really embrace it. And that's the first step, truly, before we become that virtuous woman and before we can apply all these tools in our life, we need to believe it. We need to really believe it in our heart, in our mind that we are. So at the end of every episode, I'm always going to give you whether a reflection, something to think about or an action. And today I'm going to leave you with something to take action on and it's to find a mirror and go and declare to yourself, say it, looking at your eyes and telling yourself in the mirror that you are the virtuous woman of today. Believe it because it's the first step. It doesn't matter what your eyes are seeing right now. You're going to believe that you are that virtuous woman. And with that first step, the other one, the other steps that are going to come later on in this podcast are going to become so much easier. So just um, believe it 
Declare it, and every single time you see your reflection, whether in a mirror or in a window or in your computer, you're going to say it. If you cannot say it out loud, you're going to say it in your, in your mind and definitely in your heart. You're going to believe um, that you're the virtuous woman and you're going to declare it. And once again, that's the first step to be able to achieve everything the Lord wants to do through you and show you how beautiful and amazing you were built. So if you are interested in this podcast, I encourage you to subscribe and to invite other ladies to be part of the, this podcast. Let's grow a community here of virtuous women that want to grow and want to go after what the Lord has called us to do. And uh, subscribe, invite somebody. And before I leave, I want to remind you that you are the virtuous woman of today. And I encourage you to become everything God has called you to be. And I'll see you next week.